And I'm beautiful. Actually, that's my co-anchor, Heather Jones. Yes, indeed. I'm Heather Jones, and we've got an extra spectacular show for you today. For our first segment, we're going to teach you a little bit about self-worth. It's the Noodle Effect, produced by Savannah McClure. Long ago, before humanity began, there lived a big and proud race of noodles. Amongst these many noodles, there was the chosen one, who with the help of his best friend, started a new race of noodle. This is their story. Sheldon, why do you look so glum? You know, you wouldn't understand. I'm not a show. I wish I was a cool bow tie noodle, just like them. Don't worry, I'll help you become a bow tie noodle. Well, I heard herds of bow tie noodles come from the fettuccine forest this time of year. Yeah, I mean, we can venture into the fettuccine forest, so you can transform into a bow tie. Hmm, that's a good idea. Let us go into the fettuccine forest. So, Sheldon, wanting nothing more than to be a bow tie noodle, set out on a magical adventure with his best friend Gary to the dangerous fettuccine forest. <laughs> During Gary and Sheldon's adventure, Sheldon spotted a puddle. Little did they know that the puddle was magical. Oh, oh wow, a puddle. O-M-G. I'm perfect. Just the way I am. I don't need to change to fit in. I'm unique in my own way. I think it's... Oh my goodness. Oh my, I'm beautiful! Ah! And it was from that moment on that Sheldon realized that he was indeed perfect. Every time I watch that, I cry a little bit inside. I know. It's truly inspiring. Enough of this sad stuff. I can't mess up my perfect makeup. True, true, true that. Let's move on. Heather, I think this next segment was designed specifically for you. <laughs> really? Why? It's called What Not to Do with a Cute Guy. It's produced by Joycey Reed. Mm -hmm. Hey babe, doesn't this apple pie look good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you alright? The Wi-Fi just went out. <laughs> Did you know that otters hold their hands while they're sleeping so they don't separate? Why didn't you text me back last night? I texted you like five times, so you just completely ignored me. And then I started calling you, and you didn't even answer me. Who are you with? Were you uh, hanging out with some girl? Who uh, was it? Uh, What's her name? Hmm? Who, who are you? <laughs> who do you mean, who am I? Did you have a good day? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I actually have to go right now, so I'll catch, catch you later. But where, where are you? Come back. Swerve! What did I do wrong? Heather, we're back on. 
<laughs> I knew that. Were you taking notes? <laughs> no. Why would I need to do that? I'm classy. <coughs> Ew. I think you should probably wash your hands. Mmm, why? Because that was disgusting. Wow, Jacob, you're such a germaphobe. Like our next segment. It's Germaphobes Anonymous, produced by Kelly Renictious. Makes you wonder why germaphobes would meet in the bathroom. True. Doesn't make any sense. So what's the next video that we're introducing? I don't know. What is it? I ain't playing with your crap today, Jacob. Alright, sorry. Chill. Hasta la próxima, El Bandito. Oh, uh, what? I mean, up next is El Bandito, produced by Ian Bergeron. That was phenomenal. Yeah, it was. However, I think the next video is pretty fantastically, ridiculously awesome. Now surely you mean the best made production in the history of video. Well, of course, H.J. Anyway, now it's time for A Day in the Life of a Boomer, produced by myself, Jacob Reisner.
Feel free to applaud. Don't let it get to your already large head. Hey, there's no denying a talent like my movie producing skills or my bulbous head. Okay, whatever. I'm sure these people have had enough of us. No, Heather Jones. I've had enough of them. I have some bad news. Yeah, what's that? Try not to cry too much. Oh, <laughs> I don't cry. I don't cry. This is my last boomer guest. Oh. Well then. Signing off for the last time together. I'm Jake. I'm Jacob Re <clears throat> I'm Jacob Reisner. And I'm Heather Jones. <laughs> nope.